My name is Kayla McLeod and I am one of two of AOPA social media marketers and I had the once in a lifetime opportunity to fly a TBM 910 in Pompano Beach last week. Typically I fly small tail draggers such as J3 Cubs, Carbon Cubs, or Ronca Champs. So this was a really big difference for me. So we were originally down there to report on the brand new TBM 960 which was released at Sun and Fun. But Wayman realized that I had never flown up to 30,000 feet in a general aviation aircraft. So he actually asked me, hey, do you want to go do your high altitude endorsement? It was something I never anticipated happening, and I was honestly shocked. Except, uh, four, three, four, my tango. Continue runway one, five. Okay, full power. Okay. okay. Just walk it up, feel the power coming up. Wow. On the roll, you can feel the power. I notice that you need a little bit of right rudder, like yep. any. Air speed alive. 85. 80 rotate, pitch up, pull back, pull back. Tap the brakes. Traffic, 2 o'clock. Tap the brakes. Bring the gear up. Bring the gear up. Gear's coming up. Soon enough, I was flying us up to 30,000 feet. Pretty soon they're going to give us back to Kilby, which is going to be a heading of 150. We'll disconnect the autopilot. And I'm going to have you do a steep turn at 24,000, descending 9,000 feet per minute. Okay. <laughs> wow. Once we're looking at that heading of 160, I'm going to depressurize the cabin okay. and the mask are going to drop. We might get a little bit of smoke. This is Lake Okeechobee, by the way. Oh, cool. All right, now we're on the heading. Okay. But mission coming off. Now push the airplane over 25 degrees. Okay. Just push hard. Use oxygen mask. Use oxygen mask. 5,000 feet per minute. Keep, keep on going minus 20. There you go. Oh, wow. Use oxygen mask. Wow. Use oxygen mask. Descending at 9,000 feet per minute was super eye opening. It truly put into perspective for me in a, an emergency situation how quickly you have to be on top of it. You have to think in an entirely different way. There has to be no hesitation. It was it was difficult because I had some pressure in my ears. <laughs> oh, wow. Woo. Better than Bush Gardens and Six Flags, huh? <laughs> All right, so now let's do a stall. Okay. The stall was truly like the most eye-opening portion of the flight. Stall, stall. Pitch it up slowly, slowly. Stall, 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 stall. Stall, Reduce the angle of attack, reduce the angle of attack. The stall in the dirty configuration was incredibly crazy. I mean, the left wing drops out from underneath of us and quickly Wayman's just reminding me the basics of recovering from a stall because of how shocked I was. It happened so quickly. It definitely wasn't like stalling a Cessna 172. Nice job, you got the Vassy, your glide slope, beautiful. To my surprise, Wayman had me fly the airplane all the way up until we parked the aircraft. I had no idea that was going to happen. <laughs> it was super cool of him to trust me. We had a pretty decent crosswind. It was gusting to 25 or 30 knots, but it was just like a bonanza. It's just an airplane. Let's keep that angle up a little bit more. Back. Hold it right there, hold it right there. Stall, stall, stall. Beautiful, let go of the nose. The TBM 910 was just like a really big bonanza. The controls were heavier than I had thought. But then again, I'm always flying around in Cubs, so it's a pretty different thing. But overall, the airplane was a blast to fly, and I hope to fly one again here in the future.